action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. And we got a lot to cover today, so let's jump into it. And let's get the kind of bad news out of the way, uh, the latest uh, pop culture related cancellations or postponements due to the whole coronavirus epidemic. So first of all, Warner Brothers this week announced a new release date for the upcoming Wonder Woman sequel movie. So Wonder Woman 1984 is now uh, tentatively uh, slated for release on August 14th. Now, I would keep that with a grain of salt because obviously we don't know exactly where things will be come the summer, come August. You know, will movie theaters actually have reopened by then? Um, I, I don't know. So that right now that is, you know, they've kind of grabbed that date probably because, you know, as all these uh, uh, studios are, you know, postponing their release dates, you know, they're at some point going to have to try and find new release dates. And so um, I guess Warner Brothers is hoping by August things will be fairly back to normal, but we'll just have to see. But right now that is the new release date for the upcoming Wonder Woman movie. And then uh, also this week, Diamond Distributors, if you're not familiar, uh, they are the ones that essentially ship all the new comic books to your local comic book store. Also, a lot of the action figure products and stuff that you get at your local comic book store come from Diamond Distributors. They are the largest distributor in the United States for that sort of thing. And they actually kind of have a monopoly on it as far as the comic books go. So, um Basically, when they shut down, which is what has happened, they have temporarily shut down. They shut their doors earlier this week. They're actually located in the state of Maryland. And this, Mar I don't know if, if, if the two actually go hand in hand, but Maryland this earlier this week um, initiated uh, where all non-essential businesses were supposed to quit operating uh, temporarily, again, due to coronavirus. So that might be why Diamond... Uh, made the announcement that they did but essentially they said that this past wednesday the wednesday we just had would be the last uh week that they'd be shipping out new comic books so april 1st um comic shops even if your shop is still open right now or open in some type of limited capacity is not going to be receiving uh new comic books so um you know, I said this before, you know, a lot of these small comic book shops are going to have a really hard time weathering this if this drags out for a really long time. Good chance that we're going to see a lot of comic book stores go out of business over all of this. So if you are in an area where you can still, where your shop is still operating in some capacity, you know, some comic book stores are doing curbside deliveries. Some have even started doing uh, mail deliveries. So, you know, reach out to your local comic book shop if you can, if you're in a position to do so, try and support them, uh, buy some comics to read if you're sheltered in place at your home, you know, and you can get your hands on them you know, get, get some comics to read or what have you. But definitely, uh, you know, a lot of small businesses, unfortunately, during this time are going to be struggling. But, you know, we'll keep it to pop culture here. And so, like I said, if you can support in some way your comic book shop, buy some gift cards or what have you, you know, now is the time to do it. Okay, so enough with the bad news, enough with the coronavirus. Let, let's get on to some good news. Let's get on to some new toy news. And I do have some pretty exciting news today on both the G.I. Joe front and the Tomasi Nation's S.H. Figure Arts front with the Michael Keaton Batman that I talked about uh, the other week. Uh, we've got official images and details. But before we get to that, let's go to Diamond Comics. So um, now again, right now, uh, these release dates are very tentative. We'll have to see how things are. But um, Diamond uh, did earlier, actually uh, last week, I, I forgot to actually talk about these in, in my last news video, but they uh, released new solicitations for the Diamond Select toy uh, product. So a couple of action figures that they announced, a new John Wick figure. Now this is based on the third movie and he's wearing what they're calling his casual attire. So he's got some jeans and a white shirt. We've seen this at San Diego and again, I think at Toy Fair and it's said to come with a bunch of weapons and, you know, coins and stuff that you see him have in the movie. Imaged here is a, is a, a large uh, shotgun type weapon. I don't know the official name of that particular weapon. I'm not a gun expert, but, but he's got a weapon, but he should have more weapons than what you see in the image that they released. And then again, he's wearing the white shirt and the jeans and everything. And that figure is slated for an August release date. Though again, do keep that, you know, do kind of keep that release date with a grain of salt right now. 
And then they also released images for their 10th assortment of the Nightmare Before Christmas select figures that they've been doing. So this has actually uh, been a pretty popular line for them, I believe. And so with this 10th wave, we are going to be getting a Mr. Hyde figure, a Corpse Mom figure, a Corpse Dad figure, a Cyclops figure, and Mrs. Claus with a Penguin Pipe. So again, if you're into the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, there is a 10th wave coming. And like with the John Wick, the tentative release date for this wave is August. For you Godzilla fans, we've got some new figures coming from Tomasi Nations for their Monster Arts line. So we've got Godzilla 1954, you know, an early Godzilla figure that, that they're doing in figure form. And then they're also doing uh, Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. So I kind of lose track of all these different Godzillas. You know, I never really ever thought about how many different versions of Godzilla there are until I started covering Godzilla action figures. But uh, these two are up for pre-order now at our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. For you Star Wars fans, I've got a couple things of news I wanted to share with you. So first of all, on the Black Series front from Hasbro, I talked about this figure uh, about a month ago, I think it was now, uh, the Star Wars Gaming Greats Force Unleashed Stormtrooper Commander figure. This figure initially showed up, started showing up at EB Games. It is uh, an EB Games, which is in Canada, and then here in the U.S., it's a GameStop exclusive. So the news I, I had for you today is that GameStop has actually put the figure up for pre-order on their website. They have not given it a release date yet. I think most, if not all, physical GameStop stores are currently closed due to the coronavirus. Might be some are still doing curbside delivery, I'm not sure. But for the most part, the physical stores have been closed but um, they have listed the figure on their website for pre-order. Again, no release date. Probably it will be later in the summer, again, due to the coronavirus. Again, that figure had been out at EB Games already, um, which is why we had seen images and stuff. But I just wanted to let you guys know if you do here in the U.S., if you want to grab it, you can go on and pre-order on the GameStop website. And then the other news I have from you for you guys is on the Hot Toys front for Star Wars. Today they announced that they're doing a life-size Baby Yoda slash the child figure. So we've seen others like I think Sideshow is doing their own life size version, but Hot Toys has got one in the pipeline as well. The figure is not yet up for pre order, but probably will be by, I would say, probably by Monday. Uh, figure looks really nicely detailed, uh, almost looks like you're seeing something straight from the television series. You've got multiple pairs of hands, he's got that Mandalorian necklace, he's got the little uh, knob from the uh, uh, stick the the clutch on the ship that he took off he's got a figure stand he's got uh, the little robe outfit that he wears now one thing that is kind of missing is it looks like they did not include the little cup of soup that you see him drink in one of the episodes which has come like a classic meme i would have thought they would have included that but still overall the detailing on this looks really good if you're a baby yoda fan this is one you'll probably want to check out and if you're wondering, uh, the figure, again, it's said to be life-size, but it ends up standing about just over 14 inches tall. Okay, and then the final bits of news I have for you guys are probably the coolest of the week. And first of all, we've got official images and details for that SH figure. It's Michael Keaton Batman figure from Tomasi Nations that I told you about last week. They, they released the teaser image, but now we've got the official details and, and more images. So overall, I would say the figure looks pretty good. It's said to stand about 5.9 inches tall. Its release date overseas is going to be September 2020. The figure is up for pre-order now or should be going up for pre-order now uh, today. Uh, I actually haven't seen it up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store, but it, I believe they should be carrying this figure. So do look for it there uh, pretty soon. But the figure um, is going to have a number of accessories. So you get a soft goods cape with this one. And then you've got the little uh, pipe pieces that you can put on the ends of the cape that have the handles. So he can hold the cape out so it looks like he's gliding like you saw in the movie. You also are going to get two different head sculpts with, the, with this figure. You're going to get multiple pairs of hands. You're going to get uh, some throwing stars, a batarang. You're going to get a grapple gun. And then you're going to get that Skyline grapple gun, the one that he used in the museum where it shoots out both ends and then he you know, kind of skylines down uh, with Vicky Vale. So you get that weapon as well. 
Now, overall, I would say the figure, like I said, it does look pretty good to me. However, you know, there's nothing really here that, you know, I've got the NECA one that was previously done. And then also I've got on pre-order the Mezco one. So, you know, this one probably is going to have a bit of a hefty price tag here in the U.S. And, you know, having those two others, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of torn whether I want to get this one or not. I, I definitely, you know, Michael Keaton Batman's one of my favorites. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Now, they recently on their social media, Tomasi Nations was asking fans what's the next uh, DC uh, figure for SH figure arts they want to see. Surprisingly, I was not seeing a lot of people ask for Jack Nicholson Joker. I'm like, are you people crazy? Um, I'd also love to see, you know, Christopher Reeve, Superman and, and Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. But still, even before those, I'd probably rather see Jack Nicholson, mainly because we almost never see a Jack Nicholson Joker. I think the only one company that's been able to do him is Hot Toys for 12 inch figures. And that's because the likeness rights are very difficult to get a hold of for, for Jack Nicholson. So if Tomasi Nations could pull it off, I, I would love to see them do a, a Jack Nicholson figure to go along with this Batman figure. I would almost definitely get this one if I knew they were doing Jack Nichols. And then finally we have images for the first Cobra based figure in Hasbro's new 6 inch G.I. Joe classified line. So it has now been officially confirmed that Destro is coming in wave one. We pretty much all knew it. I, I've talked about the wave and, and the two rumored figures being uh, remaining figures being Destro and th then just a non-exclusive version of Snake Eyes. They still haven't officially come out and said Snake Eyes yet, but again, that, that is almost definitely the final figure in wave one. The others we know we had known, the Duke figure, the Scarlet figure, and the Roadblock figure. Those were all shown at Toy Fair. But now we have these new official images of Destro and and overall, I, I think this might be the best looking uh, classified figure to date, even better than the Snake Eyes figure. Um, you've got the, the metallic silver looking head sculpt, which I think comes out looking really good. He's got his necklace, you know, not 100% to his original, uh, look, but very close. Um, you know, again, very, you know, to me, all of these look very similar to their original looks, just a little bit modified. And, and, and this Destro, he's got the big collar. He's got the necklace with the, the gem in it. Uh, it looks like it's just painted. It would have been cool if it was like translucent plastic, but still, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. He's got the, the wrist gauntlets. He's got the, you know, black outfit. He's got the holster on the leg. So I don't think the missiles on the wrist gauntlets are removable. I won't swear to it. They might be, uh, they're not listed and there's no, in these images, there's nothing that indicates they're removable. It'd be cool if they were. But um, he does come with uh, two different weapons. He comes with a, a, a gold pistol that fits in the holster that's on his leg. And then he's got a larger Destro-like blaster, you know, very similar to the weapon that the original toy came with that is done in black and red, which I think looks pretty cool. And then he also has a, a Cobra briefcase, or probably it's a weapons case. They don't. Sh I don't know if it opens. Uh, none of the images indicate whether the case opens. I would think it would maybe have some uh just like the original on the original toy you could open it up and there were some like sculpted weapons inside and stuff so i'm guessing that'll probably be the case with this one as well now it's not like the head sculpt's not vac metal it's just a metallic paint it would have been cool if they had gone with the vac metal but but um you know i'm pretty happy with how this one looks overall so um, you know, this is our first Cobra figure that we're getting, um, you know, wave two, we still don't really know. We know a wave two is definitely coming, but we really don't know what the, uh, figures are going to be probably going to be a mix of movie figures and, uh, uh, well, not, you know, non, non movie figures. They're not technically animated series. They're not technically comic, but, but you know, they're non movie figures. I'm guessing the remaining figures I've talked about this before, but they released a poster at Toy Fair that had all the figures that are in Wave 1. And then uh, the remaining figures are probably going to be Cobra Commander, Baroness, and and uh, Gung-Ho. That is a guess just purely on, on my part, in large part, because those are the remaining main characters featured on that poster. But we'll just have to see. Because the other figures, there's like six figures, and the other figures all are likely going to be movie figures. So, um, 
that that's why again i i feel like th that's how they're going to round out wave two but we'll have to wait and see but again with this uh figure which uh this whole wave is up for pre-order at places like our sponsor big bad toy store and I'm, i definitely am very happy with the way this one came out looking okay so that's it for today i'd love to hear your thoughts on everything i talked about in the comments section below you know please be safe um, you know, like myself, you're probably, you know, possibly confined to your home. So hopefully, you know, you're not going stir crazy. You know, you head over to the Toy News International message boards if you want to chat with fe fellow collectors. We are continuing to run those contests for $100 store credits on there. And, you know, you can still buy stuff online even if you can't go to the physical stores right now. But as always, you know, stay safe, stay sane. And until next time, guys. I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great. <laughs>